All right, this is the build that I use to farm Zirachi. RFB, big bag, you don't need a rig because the guards will spawn with the rig. Um, some extra mags, make sure you have extra ammo. I have a Taz mount that I throw my sight on. Um, the three keys you can see there, the, bed the shared bedroom marquee, conference room key, and the radar key. And then I'll show you the gun build. This is the gun build that I'm using. It's really, really cheap. Um, and I didn't mention in the last note. Uh, it's TCW is the ammo you want to use for this. It has high enough pen to shoot through a window that you're going to have to shoot through. And it does just enough flesh damage to kill him fast enough. Okay, so in this next clip, I'm going to show you the two cultist spawns and Zorachi spawns. And then I'm going to have photos of like what they look like in raid each time. Okay, so one guard can spawn right here. Just the cultists. Um, one Zorachi spawn is going to be up in this bush up to the right, right there. That bush. And then right here is another Zorachi spawn. And then the last spawn is the last cultist. Alright, now I'm just going to show two photos of the bottom right cultist spawn. There's two normal photos of him laying down normally. And then the last photo, um, this one right here, is him standing up, which doesn't happen often, but it can. And then I don't have a picture of it, but this bottom right guard can be bugged. And if you don't see him here at all, he's on the island. And I'll show later how to kill him if you don't see him here. All right, now I'm going to show you um, all Zorachi spawns. So this is his um, first spawn where he's out in the open, not hiding. Um, this is him on the little left side of the rock up there laying down. Sometimes he can be behind the tree. This next spot, he can be really difficult to spot. You sometimes only see his gun barrel pointing out. This is him just pointing out of the bush. And this one, he's crouching, but you can see his barrels. So you can kind of guess where his head is to shoot. Okay, this is the um, top left guard. The first two photos are just him laying down out in the open, which is like best case scenario. Um, and then the last photo, I believe, is just him crouching, which like I said, they usually never crouch or stand up. But the only photo I don't have is he can spawn tucked into the rock up there where you can only see his shoulder. And it's really, really annoying to kill him, but you can kill him. I'll show how to do that later on in the video of me killing all the guards and clearing them. Okay, now I'm going to actually show you a clip of me clearing the guards and Zorachi. So first person you want to take out is Zorachi using this pixel peak right here. When you're leaning the whole way over to the right, you should just barely be seeing him. Um, so he can't shoot back. But here you see that he's not dying. And the reason he's not dying is because I'm wall banging him through the metal and it's doing like absolutely no damage. So you see here I've repositioned just a little bit over so I can make it past that metal. And then once he's dead, I'm going to move into my second position to kill the top left guard. Because you're going to kill Zorachi, top left guard, then bottom right guard. And this is why you brought the TCW ammo, so you can wall bang this mirror right here. Just line up, find out like with his arms, using his arms, or wherever he is laying up there. Because um, he can spawn different spots on that rock, but just kind of see where his arms are. And just kind of guess where his head is. And you can usually tell he's dead because you see his body ragdoll. Okay, this next part's pretty sketch because you got to run and lay down. You could get tapped. So on your crouch meter, you want to go up two here. And you just want to pixel peek him to make sure he's on the far right side of your lean. And just slow peek and tap him. And then you can move on to the mines. Okay, these next clips are me killing the bugged top left guard. When I said earlier you can only see his shoulder, this is what I was talking about. Um, to kill this guy, you pretty much just have to keep repositioning in this pixel peak until you can hit him and he stands up and then you have to kill him before he kills you because he can kill you. Um, it might be this clip, I think, where he shoots back at me, but, um, you just have to, you pretty much just keep shooting his shoulder until he stands up. It's really annoying to kill. Okay, this next clip is me killing the bugged bottom right guard. When I said earlier, if you don't see him laying down at all down there, and he's not even there, um, he'll be just kind of standing up here in this path. And if you just hold this angle, he'll walk down to you, and then you can kill him. Okay, this next clip is um, me killing Zorachi. This is kind of just an example of when he is really hidden. Um, what it looks like because sometimes he's super hard to see 
Okay, now I'm going to show you how to cross the bridge. Uh, I'm not going to do a step by step exactly on how to get across. If you want to rewatch, slow it down. Pretty much every time I'm going to bait the mines, I'm going to have my speed the whole way down and I'm going to be crouched. For some parts, when I aim and when I have my melee out, just copy me exactly. Um, as long as you copy the video exactly how I do it, you should be fine every time. Okay, then here we go. This is um, going through all the mines. So pretty much here, lower your speed down the whole way. Just hug these concrete slabs until you hear the first mine blow up. Once you hear that mine blow up, come over here, right onto this edge where this little black line is. Just back up with your speed the whole way down. Once this blows out, blows up, pull out your gun, aim down, make sure speed's the whole way down and just back up slowly in a straight line until you hear two more explosions. And you will feel your character bumping into like a like a circular object here, like a wheel, but that's okay. And you don't have to run on this part. I'm just so used to it. I would walk the first couple times, get behind this white thing, straight line. This back tire, you want to get directly in the center of it and walk up to it because there's a mine under that left tire. Once you're here, make sure your speed is the whole way down and you're aiming in and back straight up here. Set off that mine. I'm going to walk forward here. There's a mine to the left here, so don't go too much to the left. I just, you got to get a running start. You get to bait one mine after you land here. And then jump over this specific way. And then you have two more mines you have to bait off here. And then on your way up here, you have some. Just, like I said, the speed the whole way down. Once that one's gone, just look to the right here and just run against the edge. And when you get to this body, lay down, lower your speed the whole way. Back up. Sometimes this mine can, like, black out your chest or legs. You just have to heal. It's kind of RNG. And then here again, just hold right the whole time here. Whole way you're holding right. And then once you're here, you're fine. You can, you can clear and then go loot. All right, and now I'll show you how to get back um, across the bridge after you're done looting. So right here, this mine, if you don't hold left really tight, that's the mine that'll kill you. And right here is kind of a weird, like, the wall, the invisible wall is kind of weird. Just copy exactly what I do here. Just running, looking to the left until you get to this, um, this edge of the concrete. Then you just kind of want to walk up in a straight line here. You can run this, like I said, first couple times, you probably want to walk it. Right here can be very dangerous. There's a mine behind this sandbag right here and one off to the left. So if you're peeking off the edge too much to the left or you're too much to the right, you'll die. And then right here, just run straight line behind the porta potties because there's a mine to your left. And then once you get to this point right here, you're fine. You're completely cleared. Just don't get extra at camped. Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to show you some of the um, loot hauls I've gotten from the island. I mean, it's broken as fuck. The island has insane loot. Um, you'll see on the last photo I got a red card from the marked room over there. It's just, it's nuts. You can make millions doing this. Um, if you want a loot guide, let me know. It's just, I didn't know if people were going to be interested enough for a loot guide over there. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video and good luck. Make millions.